Hey, it's Michael Angeliff with Gener & Associates with your June 2021 market update. Last month in Georgetown, 13 houses sold. The median selling price was $620,000, uh, which the I think the really interesting point there is it's 26% above what it was in June 2020. And that might sound a little bit crazy, but it's not. Prices are actually up that much. Uh, so far this year in, in Georgetown and then in Essex County, uh, they're actually up about 15% since the beginning of the year. And if you couple that with the 15 to 18% last year, you know, these are realistic numbers. It's also interesting that this is, these are the first houses, if you look at last year, these are the first houses that were closing sort of after COVID started. Um, and this year, they're kind of the first houses that are closing as COVID was um, was lessening its grip. So, so putting those two together, we can actually see some interesting things. Um, 15 days on the market. Uh, so the, the market is still super quick. A lot of properties back when these were on the market in April and May, uh, things were still selling the first weekend. That's it's starting to change ever so slightly now. Essex County is up 19%, days on the market is 22. So Georgetown is, is beating the trend in, in both of those categories. I think it's important to look at the context just to see what other towns around us are doing. Boxford is getting ever so close to that million dollar median selling price. Uh, they're up 29% year over year. Groveland, $565,000, up 14% year over year. Topfield, 735,000, up 13% year over year. But the two that I think are really the most interesting, if you look at Rowley, their median selling price was $858,000, which was up 76% year over year. And then Newbury uh, median was 829 and up 49% year over year. So I think those are the, you know, it's, it's interesting to see Georgetown, you know, when, when I saw 26%, I thought to myself, it must be the outlier. And the reality is it's Georgetown is kind of right in the middle. Uh, so it's, it's really interesting being able to see the difference just in the surrounding towns in our area. So what does this mean? I think the good news if you're a buyer is that the market is starting to, to shift ever so slightly in your favor, uh, not in your favor, it's ever so slightly away from being such a strong seller's market. Whereas a couple of months ago, we were having lines at open houses, we were seeing 20 offers, we were seeing crazy prices or crazy accepted offers. We're seeing a little bit less than that. We're still seeing multiple offers, that's still typical, uh, but we're seeing a little bit less of the crazy and sort of frenetic behavior that we were seeing a couple months ago. So if you're a buyer, I think what that means is this summer is gonna be your opportunity to really do something. There are inventories tweaking up just a little bit. Some buyers I know, some of my clients are, are taking the summer off just because they're, they're exhausted. So I think there are gonna be a lot of really good opportunities for buyers to get in to houses that if they came on the market a couple of months ago, they wouldn't have been able to touch. So I think that's a great opportunity. And if you're a seller, what I would say is get in this market as soon as you can. Uh, you know, with it moving in this direction, this might be a blip. It might go back to be a strong seller's market, but it might not. It might keep continuing in this direction. And what we're starting to see is some of those terms that were really so favorable to sellers, they're not quite as favorable to sellers anymore. Whether it's a lease back, whether it's the longer closing, whether it's uh, language regarding appraisals or inspections, that's not always a given anymore. Uh, we're actually seeing offers being accepted with home inspections, which we would never have expected to see two or three or four months ago. So that's something to, to really consider. The other thing that I would say is that Boston is back. The condo market in Boston is above where it was pre-pandemic in terms of price and in terms of, of the bus you know how busy it is there. So I think a lot of the people who were moving out of Boston to be in the suburbs to have grass during COVID, I don't know if they're moving back or if this is a population you know starting to move into Boston, but it, it feels like there's gonna be less pressure out in the suburbs. And that's really the, where the, the demand was coming from uh, when we were seeing the strong seller's market for the last year or so. So anyway, that's your quick market update for June 2021, and I will see you in uh, next month. See you soon.